Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Ming uh, and I welcome you guys back to another episode of uh, Let's Play Advance Wars uh, Omega. Enemies at sea and land, out with them and capture the HQ. Mission start. You're telling me they put a lamp in an island out at sea? Yep, they must want to produce tanks where we wouldn't expect. Especially since the wide open sea ain't weren't holding. <laughs> Seems the enemy disagrees. Which one of us should go to the lab? You mean, we're actually going? We can't just let them do as they please, Bessie. Well, I couldn't rightly do much at sea. You'd do well with battleships, just like your old friend. Yeah, true that. Grit's a great battleship commander. Grit ain't a friend anymore, Summer. And yet you dress like him, talk like him, fight like him? This ain't worth the saliva. You can send me in if you're pleased. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we get to choose between Summer and Bessie. Well, if we're gonna get battleships, then there's no doubt in my mind I want to play as the indirect commander, not the infantry commander, so... Alright, let's go. Mission 6, Ocean Waves. Oh, I wonder what kind of new uh, uh, naval units Seafram has added to the sack. Maybe he added Days of Ruinstall carriers, that'd be amazing. Hey, what gives? You're actually coming for the lab out here? At least you can wash up that garish makeup in the water. <laughs> this is my skin, I'll have you know. I don't even want to know how that's possible. Yeah, you don't. Now keep away from my toys, please! I love this song. Oh my god, I see gumboats. Gumboats can carry one foot soldier and have one run of ammo. Oh, I love it. I love it. Summer, what's this ship here? Never seen it before. Green Earth's Captain Drake proposed this vessel, the gunboat. It's inexpensive and can carry your foot soldiers very quickly. It is a direct combat cannon, but it has to reload after just one shot. One shot? What incarnation was he thinking? The rubber duck in my bathtub would make a better weapon. I kinda agree, I don't like gumboats. Well, its transportation ability is what's most important at the moment. The lab is located on the island in the north. Let's get to it. All right, so it's a naval map. That's interesting. What's that? What is that noise? Oh my goodness, someone's like polishing the floor above me or something. Uh, it's incredible. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, all right, so we're fighting as Bessie, and she has good battleships, which is nice. That this, this, this. Don't, don't look at this firepower meter. It's broken. Um. Isn't, like, isn't Fortune... Yeah, she can't swap naval units with her superpower, so she's not very good in naval combat. Uh, but it, it turns out Bessie actually does have a 20% reduction in firepower. I think someone even pointed out she has, like, a weaker infantry, so we'll have to take a look at that. Now, here's the question. Yes, look at that. Gunboats can actually attack tanks. I don't think they should, though. About cruisers. Oh, please tell me he buffed cruisers. Possum spit, Summer. I know how to use cruisers. I'm aware of that, just don't forget they can fire at any ship now. Ah, they're even allowed to carry helicopter units. All ships can also move on shoals where they won't burn fuel. Oh! When was that ever useful? Don't ask me, but you never know. Such situations do come up sometimes. That's really cool, so they don't burn fuel when they... Ah! That is actually really cool, but is it harder for them? Oh, wow, tree movement to go on shoals. Okay. So it's very hard to move them onto shoals, which kind of makes sense, I guess. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Immediately, cruisers are good. Well, I don't know if they're good, but they're not useless anymore, that's for sure. Did uh, Ephraim increase uh, reef? Uh, oh. No, no, he didn't. Okay. No, he didn't. He, did, he didn't increase the movement cost over, uh, over, over reefs. Okay, they still have one defense star. I would maybe change it to two. I always felt like reefs should offer more protection. Anyway, let's move the battleships in. Uh, I see a submarine here. Actually, two submarines. That's a bit of a problem, so I gotta be careful about that. So this gunboat, though, I can use it to transport mechs over here, but I don't know how smart that is. So, I think maybe it would be better if we just, uh... Hmm. We could do both, uh, we could do both tanks, I guess? Yeah, we could transport both tanks, and then we can also do the gumbo to, to transport one one other unit. But we obviously don't want to do it right away. We want to stick around here until those two tanks move away, for sure. There we go. 
And we can keep this... If, if this submarine is stupid, it might go in range of my artillery, so I'm just gonna keep them there, actually. Let's see what happens. So we definitely want to take the lab, and then we want to just rush the HQ, I think. We could also try and go for a... Ooh, I think Fortune just put her cruiser in range of my artillery. Yeah, she has the dumb AI. Uh, I didn't see where the cruiser went. Uh, or sorry, I know there's a submarine here somewhere, but I, I didn't see where it went, so... But yeah, this is nice. So that means that at least my submarines should be somewhat safe. Uh, let's see. So if we're gonna put the tanks down, it would be probably beneficial. Well, we can use the battleship to shoot on one of the tanks, I guess. Yeah, we'll use this battleship to shoot on this tank, and then we'll unload the other tanks onto the city. One of them will be struck, and that's okay. I mean, what we really could do is we could also kill the tank with the gunboat. That is almost tempting? That is almost tempting. Maybe I should do that. But then I won't be able to unload the mech this turn. But maybe that's not such a bad thing. Of course, the gunboat only has one shot. Let's see what kind of animations he gave him. Okay, so it's an APC on water. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> that works. Okay, so we'll, I guess we'll use the other battleship to take down the cruiser. And then I think... I don't remember, but I think Fortune had a submarine coming my way. I, I, I'm not entirely sure, but I, I think so. So I should probably play this just a little bit safe. And stay out of range for the time being. Just let, let the battleship come a little closer. Uh, protect it with a submarine of my own, maybe. Yeah, I think that'll work. Like so, and then I'll go back and fetch these units later. Alright, let's see what she decides to do. Ooh, she might pop her normal power, but she didn't. Okay, good. Okay, so here we see... I don't know how much damage gunboats take. A decent damage from vehicles, I guess. Could gunboats attack... Oh, God, I might be... Oh, never mind, it's a 1 HP cruiser. Did Could gunboats attack vehicles in Days of Ruin? I don't think they could. I thought they could only attack ship units. Oh, God. I'm screwed. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I found the submarine. <laughs> oh, I love how the AI just undies its subs randomly. Um, yeah, that's that's bad. Uh, that's really bad. Well, at least I have a transport left. And I have one more mech, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's not great. That is absolutely not great. That will definitely set me back a little bit. Okay, so the submarine is here, so if we move the bottlecopter like this, then we should reveal it, and then we can kill it with a cruiser. I don't know if uh, cruisers one-shot uh, submarines in this hack. Maybe. No, they don't, actually. So, but at least I can do this. I do have weaker submarines, but uh, I can still inflict a decent amount of damage with the battleship. And that should be a lot of power charge, too. You know what I could do? If I can get my power charge up, I can do the superpower. Which would actually be kind of cool. And then I could do that. I could just shoot with my battleships until they run out of ammo, which... I don't think I'm getting it, though, sadly. I'm not getting it, but I can pretty much neutralize all of Fortune's uh, submarines this turn. To the point where they shouldn't deal much damage at all to me, really. Ooh, do I have to... Okay, I gotta be careful. Okay, no, the artillery is not in range. Good to know. Yeah, I think I want to use my superpower next turn. I want to check if it's any good. I don't. I don't. I have a feeling it might not be super good, but I want to. I want to give it a try at least. So which uh, which ship should I kill here? I can probably. Yeah. Well, one thing is for sure. We gotta stop the infantry from camping here. I might actually be able to use the AI uh, AI's choke point against it, because uh, if the the recon moves first, then I can just place the tank right here. Of course, I gotta be careful, because there's a tank right here. But if the recon moves first... Then I might actually be able to just lock it behind this lab, depending on where it actually decides to go. Alright, so... Do we want to attack the submarine or the other battleship? The other battleship actually cannot attack any of my forces right now. So it might just be better to get rid of the submarine so they don't chip my battleships. Now, Fortune will actually do the swap -a this turn, I think, so I should be careful about that, too. I don't know if it actually will come into play, we'll see. Anyway, I'll get rid of... Oh, wait, you can you can shoot on dive subs now! Oh, cool! 
you can actually shoot on dive subs now. I kind of like that. It certainly, uh, I don't know, it kind of makes the subs worse, I guess. So I don't know if I like it that much. But anyway, here comes the superpower. The fun's just starting. Get ready. Oh, here we go. This is the first time I see her pop Shoten. Let's see if it does anything of note. I know it doesn't work on naval units, so I don't think it will do anything. Yep, that's a dead battlecopter. Oh, sorry, that's a dead cruiser. I'm surprised the AI attacks here, actually. And yeah, this is why I didn't want to put my tank forward. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. <laughs> God, that scared the shit out of me. I thought there was another 10 HP sub here. That probably would have been a GG, I think, maybe. Or it would have at least taken me a long time to do it. Yeah, so this is getting a little scary, so... Okay, so, yeah. I'm gonna try this now. This is no bluff, I'm all in. Now, here's the thing, I'm gonna turn off animations this turn, because... I'm gonna shoot, like, seven times with each of my battleships. Oh my god, I can even do this, that's funny. Okay, so yeah, artillery, about 20% damage to ships. But what's even more fun is that they can move after shooting. And that might actually be, like, the best part of this power. Might be that they're able to do that. They can- you, you can do a hit and run, uh, essentially, which I really like. So yeah, we're gonna turn off animations and we're just gonna start blasting, so... Yeah, we can, uh, I think focusing on the medium tank might be a good idea. How many shots do we have? The tree- oh, we don't have that many shots left, actually. This is a really fun power, I like it a lot. Let's- Shoot on the mech as well. Let's just injure her units to the point where they shouldn't be able to do that much. We don't need to target fire the infantry, but the mech, the mech does need to go. This is a super fun power. I love it. It's kind of broken. Not gonna lie. It's it's okay. So we know that the the artillery can shoot on dive submarines now. So yeah. So there we go. We're out of ammo now. So it it does burn through all of your ammo. But then you can move them, which is honestly pretty kick-ass. I like that. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my Battlecopter here. And yeah, we can literally just... We can now prevent the lap from being taken completely. Now, uh, the we're going to... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to... One, two, three... What, what's the movement on this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can unload the... Uh, I can unload the, uh, the APC next turn. And at least try to, like, resupply my battleships, which would be nice. So I think I'm gonna try and do that. But yeah, this was a- this was a really fun power. I actually like- like it a lot. There we go. <laughs> Let's go. Actually a hilarious power. I like it a lot. So yeah. Fortune took a big pummeling right now. Oh, what am I? Oh, right, the battleship. I probably should have focused on the battleship, honestly, but it's fine. So, as usual, it looks like I won't even need the Neo tank. I'm still gonna get it, though. And I'll just keep my units here, I guess. And then, yeah, I can... Pretty much just wait until I get the Neon. I can keep this Battlecopter here because I don't think Fortune has a single Empire on her island, does she? She has Cruisers, but I killed them all. So, yeah, she's she's screwed. Apparently, this is from a very obscure NES game called Billy's Jungle or something. Someone linked it in the comment section. It's, a, it's an obscure musical reference from Ephraim, but the original is actually really catchy. Okay, so I think we can, yeah, now we can kill the, uh, now we can kill the ship. Really like that ships can move on shoals. Also, I don't think I even pointed this out yet, but ships can move over bridges, I'm pretty sure. Yes, they can. For the cost of two movement, they can actually move on bridges. Which means that I don't even need this, this cruiser, I can just, I can just use my, alright, I don't even need the battlecopter, I can literally just use the cruiser. So, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Oh shit, did I just place my cruiser in range? I guess it, a little bit of power charge isn't, isn't a bad thing. So yeah, look at that. And uh, looks like your boats don't have a special like shoal animation, but that's fine, that's fine. They don't need that. Oh, I gotta be a little care. Uh, yeah, no, this is fine. Okay, my battlecopters are actually out of ammo though. How did that happen? Wait, what? 
Wait, 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 wait. How are my battlecopters already out of ammo? They've hardly shot. Excuse me? Uh, do do Ephraim have like five missiles on the battlecopters? Have they really shot five? That doesn't sound right. That just does not sound right to me. But yeah, I can I can literally just do this now. Like, <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. That, that just doesn't sound right. I mean, five missiles? I don't think... I think something weird happened with the... Uh, I'm pretty sure, sure something weird happened with the ammunition during the superpower. Maybe the Battlecopter lost all its ammunition or something. It just... I, I do not recall my Battleshop... I might be wrong, though. I might very well be wrong. Oh, shit. Um, that was actually a bit of a blunder. I was gonna resupply both of my ships next turn. I guess that's not happening now. So yeah, this is like the one thing with ships being able to move on bridges that is a little silly. You can literally use a ship to block a bridge, which some people might not like that, but the way I see it, you're doing kind of like a sea blockade, you know? Like, you're not, you're not, it's not like the ship is standing on top of the bridge. It's just kind of, it's just kind of blocking everything that's trying to move past it with their guns or something like that. I don't, I don't know, maybe they're... They're doing something to the bridge, which makes you unable to use it. I I think it works. I, I think it actually does work. Anyway, let me put... If I put the Battlecopter here, I should be able to resupply it next turn. That's good. And then let's get the lab as well. And put the artillery right here. And then we can start blasting the next turn. Of course, they're gonna... Fortune's gonna keep shooting on our cruiser, but that's fine, because she already deals damage to it. But yeah, cruiser seems much better in this hack. I like that. That's great. Alright, let's uh, resupply both of our battleships and the battlecopter. Yeah, I guess... I Five missiles is less than the battlecopter usually has, I think. I'm not sure, though. There we go. Oh, battleships, my beloved. Battleships, my beloved. I will say, it always bothered me a little bit how Grit was a better battleship commander than Drake. I personally think that Drake should have, like, one range on battleships. That's just my... my, my personal opinion. Hey, we got the Neo tank. that's great. We can bring that in. Well, it, it, it won't really make a difference, let's be honest, but hey, I mean... Every little bit helps, I guess. Do, 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 boop, boop. I think we probably will be able to route Fortune next week. Uh, ne next day, I mean. Not, not... <laughs> Not next week, no, no. Not in seven days. But yeah, um, it's definitely confirmed Bessie has minus 20% firepower on her um, on her vehicles. Uh, I do need to test her infantry, though. I don't have any infantry left, so... Alright, and uh, I guess it only makes sense that we bring in the Neo Tank for the final strike, right? I mean, let's, let's, let's put that thing to a little bit of use, at least. Yeah, 92% damage. It's minus 20%, I'm pretty sure. Or is it just minus 10? Doesn't Neo Tanks do like 105 to max? It's either 100 or 105, I don't remember. So it might actually only be minus 10%. Uh, someone can help point this out for me in the comment section. Anyway. Let's pop a power for good measure. The bullets go where I want. That's a cool quote. Quick good draw. And then we'll uh, finish in style with a battleship uh, blast. Bye-bye, Clissy. See you next time. I think this might be the, the second to last mission before the final one. Alas, the sea is a cruel mistress. I better skedaddle. Even Grit would be impressed with this battleship's cannon. Summer, why do you keep bringing him up? Because I'm pretty sure I figured it all out. You're not upset Grif le Grit left Orin Star. You're upset he left you before you could even talk to him. And training yourself to be like him, you miss him, I bet. If he sees you now, why, I bet he'd come back to see you. Hey, why don't we go to Blue Moon for our vacation after this conflict? I would like that. Thanks, Summer. Aww. Oh, she, she just wants to be with Grit. Aww. Another S rank. She's going to be a handful. Do, 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 do. Alright, there we go. And is this the final? Yes, it is. It is the final mission, ladies and gentlemen, of the Orange Star campaign. Hope you guys are looking forward to it. I certainly am. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next time.
next episode. Bye.